Hello guys, Pluto on Hunter here with RWDY. Today we are going to be doing Chapter 9, Unmasked. And if you remember last time, we went looking for Blake. Oh, Council Off is on. Um, anyway, if you remember last time, we went looking for Blake in the Forest of Forever Fall. And we found a rock with blood on it and her bow tie. Or, um, her... I guess it was a bow tie, not like a... I don't know how to pronounce it. Previously, la yeah, okay. Previous in the last chapter, we were looking for Blake, and we found her, but not the way we wanted to find her. So, what do we do now, Flukes 900? For all we know, Blake could, Blake could be in trouble. Yeah, I know this already, Yang. Yang, stop, please. You're not helping my headache I have. Yang punches one of the red trees in the forest of, forest of Forever Fall. Yang, please try to calm down. Yang punches another tree, knocking it down. Don't worry, Yang. You'll get your chance soon enough. We're heading over there right now. Where to? Dark Remnant. I'm opening the portal now. You hold your right hand out and make a slice hand motion in the air, opening the rift. And who's with me on this? I'll stay here with Neptune while you go and handle the situation that you're in. I'm with him on this one. Fine. Bunch of cowards. You guys stay here and protect the portal then, alright? Yes, sir. Okay. You ready, girls? Yes. Yes. Let's go. All four of us went through the portal I made a dark remnant. Alright, so we're here again? What? It's reality warping game. Things are going to look the same here, but not everything here is going to be. So this is what you get to do? This is so awesome! Ruby, get out of my face! Please! Time to calm down, Ruby. Messing with time is very dangerous and can have severe consequences if not done right. But you see I'm breaking all the rules already. So it'll, it's okay for us right now to do this. Plus, your teammate is in trouble, so I'm making an exception this time. This one time. This time time. Alright, team, let's go. Stay close to me. You never know what's out there in a different dimension. I guarantee you there are a lot of Shadow Grim here in this realm. Will you just go already? I think we should listen to him, Wes. He knows a lot more than we do about this stuff. After all, he is from the future. Thank you, gang. Now let's go. We walk down the floor... Walk down the Forest of Forever Fall patch together, and as we go along the... We notice the trees are changing colors to a dull, dull wasteland of, of a place. We see the forest path and in... Path in, and then turn into a barren wasteland of a forest. What happened here? I don't know. It's like all the life here just vanished. It's kind of scary here. I know, Ruby. We walked through the town of Vale. It was just the same as the forest. It was completely abandoned of people of, of people of life, too. I wonder what Beacon will look like if the whole world is like this. A barren wasteland. Keep your eyes peeled, people. All of a sudden, four girls walk out behind one of the buildings in Vale. They're all wearing grim masks. Hello there. I'm looking for someone to play with. Oh, Rose. What do you want, Red? We're not looking for any trouble here. Oh, is that so? Well, I am. Rose Death pulls out a crescent rose ready to attack. Get ready, you girls. I don't think this is going to end well. Plus 900, you should know not to hit a girl. It's not gentlemanlike. I think he deserved it. He tried to kill my future wife. I can see where your rage is coming from, Flutes 900. You know nothing about me. Oh, really? Let's kill these fools. I agree. Enough chit-chat and more action. Pyromaniac bangs her gauntlets together, ready to fight. Very well, then. I thought you'd be in a better mood for, ta for talking things out. We gear up for a battle in the... Of the century, Team RWBY versus Evil Team RWBY. 
Rose of Death shoots first using her scythe. I block it with a wall I create out of dark matter. Ruby comes bursting through the wall I made with her gauntlet robes and starts fighting uh, fighting Rose, Rose of Death. Sides clash together in an epic struggle for victory. You can't win, Ruby. I'm not letting you hurt my friends anymore. This ends here. What made you so evil in the first place, anyway? Why should I tell you, of all people? Fine, then get ready for a beat down here. No, a beat down then. Oops. You will try, Ruby. Ruby and Rose of Death were in constant battle for victory, zipping around each other with great speed and agility. This will be the end of you, Wes. While that battle was going on, Ice Queen stuck her Mentonaster, okay, in the ground, freezing the ground with ice spikes. It was coming straight for Wes. Yang does a ground pound attack, making the ice stop in its tracks and breaks the ice. I got you. I got your back, Wes. I'm not. I'm not letting another one of my teammates get hurt by these imposters. All of a sudden, Yang gets grabbed and knocked down by Pyromaniac. Not you again. Didn't I teach you a lesson last time? Now it's time I taught you a lesson, Yang and Pain. Yang and Pyromaniac fall a fierce battle one and another using different tactics to gain the upper hand. Meanwhile, Wes and Ice Cream were battling it out as well, using different spells to overcome one another. Now you die, Ice Queen. As if, I'm hardly an Ice Queen. You don't even know me, Poppycat. I know enough Aries, now prepare to die. Which leaves only you and Black Moon to fight each other, since everyone else had their hands full. Oh, I knew this was coming. You know fighting little girls was in my in my job description. I know who you are, Flow 900. So you say, prove it to me. Very well, Flow 900. Black Moon charges at you with her gamble shroud weapons. You block each and every one of her attacks with your Dark Matter Aura, leaving you untouched by her attacks. You'll have to do better than that. I'm just getting warmed up. She charges at you again with another barrage of attacks, this time stronger. This time, she was able to get past your Dark Matter Aurora Guard and leave a few scratches on you. See, I am better than you. But that means... No. The only other people that have fault... That I have helped to be able to cut through my Aurora is the future team RWY. I trained them myself in the future to protect them from my evil brother. It can't be. Maybe it is. I just don't know what to believe it is. Believe it is. Future Blake? Is it really you? Only one way to find out. I have to get that mask off of her. She gets ready for another attack. This time, when she charges at me with her sword, I stop her sword attack with my hands, grabbing onto the sword by the, by the blade, and then disintegrate it into little pieces. She freezes for a moment. That's when I gr grabbed the mask and tore it off of her face. That's an evil presence that leaves the mask when I took it off of her. There's an there's a evil presence. Anti dark matter. They're being mind controlled by these masks. I look to see. Blake, my future wife, she's alive. She instantly knows it's me and runs into my arms, crying, bawling in tears. Holy cow! Woo! I comfort her in my arms. At least now I know who sh who is here. Honey, I need to know who did this to you. It was your future brother. He's here in Dark Limit, right now. He's going to kill you, then he's going to destroy this past life. I see, but we can't let this happen, can we? No. I need to tell the others. Stay here. I have to hurry and warn the others before it's too late. Woo! That was the end of Chapter 9. Wow, that was, um, holy freaking cow. So, I, you know, I mean, it was obvious that they were, you know, the counterparts of each other. And I didn't really think about the future thing, but yeah, the, the future selves, and they get taken over, and holy cow, this game is freaking good. Um, yeah, it's definitely escalated, escalated a lot. Uh, yeah. So anyway, though, guys, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, share my video, it helps me out as a small YouTuber, and I will catch all you guys later. Sorry about that. Later. Peace.